Hey there, welcome to tutorial number 5 of the Easy jQuery series, part of easyprogramming.net. In the last tutorial, we got an introduction to the onEvent method. I briefly mentioned event delegation, and in this tutorial, I'll show you a very easy and quick example of what it is and how to do it. So what is event delegation? So event delegation refers to the process of event propagation, also known as bubbling. You may have heard that term before. Uh, it allows you to handle events at a higher level than where it uh, where the event originated. It's great because it allows you to create just one single event listener for all elements that exist now or will exist in the future. Uh, for more information, check out the event delegation page on the jQuery website. It gives you a couple more examples and a brief uh, description on what it is. In the last tutorial, we looked at the on event method syntax and it looks something like this. So you just select a dot on. Uh, the first argument is the event. In, this, in our example today, we'll use the click event. The second and the third arguments are optional. There's the selector and data, I'll talk about that in a little bit. And this, finally, you'll need uh, a callback, which is uh, required. Uh, it allows you to tell your program what to do once the event is triggered. In this tutorial, we'll cover the selector and the data. So the first, we'll go over the selector. Selector is, a, is an optional parameter that allows you to target elements inside of another selector. In our case, so let's look at our example, we have eight span tags with uh, sentences that says span one all the way to span eight. Uh, and they're encased in a paragraph with ID, uh, with, uh, with a paragraph ID, paragraph, uh, pretty simple. So we're going to create just one event listener where when I click on any of these span tags, uh, an event will trigger and do something for that specific span tag and nothing else. So let's start coding. So we'll do, let's target the paragraph. Graph on click, there we go. Now, if I don't do anything else, if I just type in a function here and start uh, telling the program what to do once the click is made, it will trigger whenever I click on anywhere in the span tag, and I don't want that. So we'll pass in a second parameter and we'll call it span. Uh, so the second parameter takes in classes, IDs, and tags, just like jQuery selectors. It's pretty much, it is a selector. Uh, so we'll kind of call in span. We're saying that trigger only for span tags within the paragraph ID. And we'll pass in function, the callback function, and we'll do pretty simple, something we've done in the past. We'll do uh, this.css color, uh, let's do red. So what this is saying, and this is all you need, so what this is saying is that whenever each of these individual span tags is clicked, uh, paragra uh, our event listener will apply the CSS color red to that text. So let's update and run. When I click on span 1, it turns it to red, span 8 turns to red, etc. It applies an event individually to each of these span tags. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, so why would we do this? So for example, if you want uh, a user to click on different options, uh, you want an event to be triggered uh, on each of their options and not all of them. Where if you don't do the span, let's actually get rid of this. And if I do you know, a bit and run, if I click on this, it changes everything to uh, red. So I'm just gonna control Z, get put the span back, run it. There we go. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the next thing we're going to cover is the, the data argument of the on event method. And the data is an optional argument that you can pass into your on event method that will allow you to just send in some custom data. It can be anything. It can be something from another part of your program. It can be something just basic text. So just for uh, simplicity's sake, I'm going to pass in just basic text and say um, and call it. So this is an object. So let's start off as an object. It needs to be encased in something. So we'll do clicked. Uh, let's do I've been clicked. Uh, of course, I need to escape my quote here so that it's. Oops, there we go. I need to encase it so that it's this. So, and we need to pass in the actual event inside the function um, argument. Uh, you can call it anything you want. I'm calling it E, short for event. You can call it event. You can call it whatever you want. And let's just do a quick alert of this, and we'll do alert E dot data dot clicked because this is the data. The data is the the uh, what the argument is, and clicked is the name of the actual uh, object. So 
uh, not the object, the uh, the key of this data. So let's do this. Let's update and run. Now, if I click on this, whoops. That's actually because you need to pass it as an object. So get that out of there and get this out of there. So this is an object. Uh, put the quote in the wrong place. So now, if I update and run it, and if I click on this, it says I've been clicked. This turns red. If I click on this, it says I've been clicked. This turns red. Uh, so if you're wondering how did I know it's to do e.data.clicked, uh, pretty simple. Let's just actually do a console log of e. Uh, and let's open up our console. So, you know, right click anywhere and inspect. And let's do run it. Now, if I click on this, it says, you know, I've been clicked. And inside the jQuery uh, console, uh, it actually, let's zoom in a little bit, uh, it throws in the jQuery event and everything that's being sent here. So there are a lot of attributes here and the data is one of them and clicked is one of the data that's been passed in, through the event. You can also do uh, pretty much any of these. You can do the target, you can do the inner HTML, inner blah blah blah. This is object oriented program so just do data uh, data dot or e dot blah blah blah. Uh, in our case it's just e dot data. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and to go one step further, uh, because this is an object, let's actually take this object and put it into a variable. So we'll do var object, let's do this, right, let's format it, Oops. and let's call it name, and we'll do um, paragraph id, okay, pretty simple, and then we'll pass in the object instead of writing the object here. It's, it's cleaner, it's simpler. Um, and let's start doing data.click. We'll do data.name. Data.name. Let's do uh, paragraph ID, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and we'll do. Oops this dot text uh, pretty straightforward uh, what this is going to do is it's going to going to type in the name it's going to say paragraph id uh, with the colon and the text of whatever i whatever span tag that i just clicked so let's get rid of this if i click on this it'll say paragraph id this is span one turns red paragraph id this is span eight so you can send in some custom data as well and you can do some cool things to this uh, just keep playing with this and event delegation is is really useful uh, I hope you've learned something today. Uh, thanks for watching this Easy jQuery tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below here on YouTube or go to easyprogramming.net uh, where comments are enabled. Uh, I'm always open to feedback. If you don't like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs down, but I would appreciate feedback to go along with it. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great one.